All righty. Looks like this Mojo Burger thing is going to happen. So let's get this channel started out right. Now, we're going to be doing a lot of smash burgers here for the next few weeks. So go ahead and patch you out some 2.5 ounce cow balls. Keep them in the fridge and wait for the next video. Grab you some of these Martin potato rolls. We're going to use a lot of those. Tonight's recipe, we're doing a bacon cheeseburger. So we need bacon bits. We need some pickles and some good old American cheese and a hot piece of metal to cook these babies on. We're looking about 425 degrees. Now take your two cow balls, lay them down on that hot surface, and we're going to get our seasoning. Now mix this up because this will be about the only seasoning you will need for this whole channel. Or just wait, maybe one day I'll sell it. Season up the balls. Let them sit there for about 20 seconds until you got a nice little sear on the bottom. The reason for that is, when you get your smashy, you can smash the bejeebies out of these here carol balls and turn them into patties, and your smashy will not stick to the meat. Look, I'm trying to get it to stick, and it won't. Moving on, we're going to season up the back side. These right here, top side, whichever side that is. And we're going to toast up our buns. We're just going to use a little bit of that cow juice over there instead of butter for this one. All right, it's been about a total of a minute and a half on this side. You see a little cow juice bubbling on top, and you see them edges are nice and brown. Now, when you flip them, look there. The sear is just right. It's not too much, and it's not too little. So we're looking at a perfectly cooked burger once we get done. Get those freshly cooked. All right, well, let's get you some bacon bits you got in the freeze. Fridger, freezer, refrigerator that you cooked up just for nights like these. Stick them on there. Put your cheese on. We're going to let that side go for a total of about one minute. And those burgers are done and very stinking hot on my hand. Get them here to the back side and get this cooker out of the way. And there you have it. The only thing left now is to get you some vegetables. And these fast food pickles are the perfect vegetable for that. And there you have it. By the time we fired up the old Blackstone to the end was about six minutes. And we have a perfect supper. Alrighty, that's it. You know, I appreciate you. I'm going to go eat.